And then actually, like you don't see this message. Yeah, it's just um, near this this year, the ending of this year, it will stop service. Oh, for this one, oh. for the broadcasting for hands of broadcasting. Sure. She so gotta, next time we got to use OBS. Plan B. Yeah. OBS means open broadcasting system oh. or something. Anyhow, actually, they can hear us and see us. Okay. I need to. Okay. And then what I want to do is to get the link of this one. Mm -hmm. They can show your screen now. They can see my screen? Yep, now. this is your screen. So they can see it now. And I hope that people who are logging continuously, mm. uh, starting from 2 o'clock, we still have nine minutes. Mm. So I want to log in here. So they go to the Facebook to find the Google function yes. to, to find the, the, yep. the they got to go into they got to get into the Facebook first right and, they can find and find the link oh, okay. just like what I'm doing here yeah, yeah. I know keep response if they have a key in something mm -hmm. I, I have to response simultaneously mm -hmm. and then find the link from here here this one yep. we can have three Click That's the link. Okay. And then find the link from here. All right, there we go. Yeah. Here, this one. We can have three. Click That's this. the link. Okay. okay. And then find the link from here. All right, there we go. Is some yours? Oh, here, this one. We can have three. Click That's this. the link. And this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they should say hello or something once yeah, they come yeah, in. Yeah, they will say hello. If you have heard the sound, you can give hello. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Yeah, hello. Yes. Hello. Okay. Yeah. This is the way this mm -hmm. sounds like a monitor. Mm -hmm monitor the the broadcast and video. Mm -hmm. And also this one is one to show your the, your the face teacher. and screen. Yeah, yeah. It's mapping your screen to mm -hmm. here and if they want to see you you got to so you need two computers then right? Yeah. Yes I need to compute. Did, did you do it with just two monitors? Like you, yeah, I can do that. I can do a lot, but yeah. I need to have more space on right. my desk and more computer to show in here. All right, all right. So yeah, I think they can see you. Uh -huh. yeah. Right now we have four. Hmm. We have four very hardworking yes. and very supporting us, the teachers. All right. Yeah. You want to, would you like a, a, a brief introduce yourself in here? Just key in. Where you came from, or anyhow, just came something, introduce yourself. Thank you. Yeah. Done. Oh. You guys are early, that's good. Yep, we still have, I think, six minutes. Right. Six minutes before we officially start. So each time when they mm. view this video, then they have an extra mm. time just like that. Right. So officially, we have around one hour and 40 minutes. You right. know, we were close around 340. All right. All right. And um, this is our lead time. Right. Lead time is just in front that I can move it closer sure. here. Okay, I think just it's okay. let them to see you. Okay, you don't want them to see you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm not teacher. Uh, yes, I'm you are. just yes, the yeah. technician. No, to... no, 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 you're the co teacher. Co -teacher. Yeah. <laughs> the TA. The TA. Yes. <laughs> so today, um, we were using the, the line for you to, anyway, to talk with us. If our audience or our participants like you, you want to say something with the teachers in English, uh, you're welcome to do that. So I will show you my, I will show you my, anyway, uh, line QR code. Let me show you that. This is my line QR code here. Uh, let me think of how I can get that. I will post that here. Wait for me.
I give you my QR code. So we should be... Okay, now I think you can see my QR code here. If you want, really want to talk or do your conversation with our speaker of today, you can just uh, scan, scan this QR code now. Mm. I will keep showing you this. At the time, if I want you to talk, then you get to invite me to join in you into my line good friends then you can talk with our professor david of course you can always ask a question through the chat room uh, but if you really want to use the audio function yeah use the line sure. chat room is only for for key for, for, for key, typing right, right, for right. key in but they can, they, can, they can type a question yeah yeah want. yeah if you like if you like you know besides the the text Mm. If you want to really try to talk, we don't care too much about your, you know, how uh, influency or how, you know, how good you can master language. That's not, not our goal. Our goal is just, just to talk. So don't care too much. If you want to talk, just add me in. And then, then uh, I will start your, start you in my line. Then you can talk, I think. So the time now is one uh, fifty-five. Still have two minutes before we officially start the class. Mm. Well, today it sounds like a uh, professor want to introduce a new tool <laughs> that he, that he is using in his class to testing students' vocabulary. Mm -hmm. So I think we could, we will have another very interesting class for today. Mm. Okay, now I will pass the class to you. The time now is. Okay. Uh, well, we should wait. About her. Okay. We should. We so should, we should start on later around later around three o'clock, I will I will tell you that and there are some students they still don't know what our requirements. You know, we only have two requirements. The first one is you get to read the video. Uh, but if we, if we want to check how many hours and, and the long the time, the length of the time you watch the video, you've got to uh, add in or sign up to the ED puzzle. Mm -hmm. So you need to go to ED puzzle to enter the account, then we'll see. Then we'll know how much time you watch. Then you watch the ED puzzle, we know that if you really don't want to watch it, then you just leave it there, nobody will know. Then number two is on your Assignment. We we hope that you can read the text, read the text using the Google Doc. You use Google Document. You you can read that in. That actually we have you a paper. You if you really don't want to read, you can read the paper. The paper is very easy. The paper is very easy. So we want to give you a test. The test is actually very simple. Ah, English is like that. You have to practice and practice. 那时间现在是两点整，我们就把时间交给我们的 David. All right. Okay, here you. All right, thank you, Professor Wen.、Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. This is week three, and、uh, today we're going to do a little bit of review from last week.、Um, usually, when I teach, as, as I think a lot of teachers do, they try to make connections between their classes. So today we're moving on to a new topic, but、um, certain things we will do or talk about today will will have connections to last week, and I feel like that's a good way to kind of uh, uh, make things link together and, and help people review and also、um, just learn things、uh, more deeply. So,、uh, so today is week three, and、uh, we're going to do、uh, we're going to discuss attitude and, and language learning. So I prepared a short.、Uh, One-page article I wrote that's related to the video that I asked you to watch.、Um, this video, this time, is only one video、uh, because it had、uh, Chinese subtitles. So again, 
um, whether, I don't know again, how, how, what the level is of your English, uh, it seems like quite good. So um, if you want to watch the videos with, with no subtitles, that's fine. If you want to use English or, or Chinese subtitles, you can do that as well. So can we show them my your screen? PowerPoint? Yeah. OK, I need to minimize this one. And then show this one. All right. OK, that's it. All right, thank you, Professor Wang. Um, all right, so this is week three. And as with last week, um, I, I do like to respond to students' uh, answers um, to give you uh, personal responses. Now, I didn't type them in, of course, but I'm going to quickly, I'm going to do this more quickly than I did last week um, because I think we're more familiar with the, the system, how everything works now. Uh, so again, I wanted to uh, discuss with you the questions that are related to the, the video. Um, so I prepared the video, I prepared the article, and then I prepared vocabulary, and then also these questions that were posted. Um, when I should have posted these questions, there were five of them. So again, uh, I'm going to quickly go through them one by one and make some comments about uh, what you what you guys said. Um, this week you have five questions, right? Yeah. Yes. But you know, I just misunderstood that when right. you tell me that I have been a double put one here yeah. and they have the QQ yeah. on the top. You knew that. I noticed that. Yes. So there's yes. a two, I think a two yes. vote, the two yes. session that, that you can discuss yes. and I will. In response I will. to you. Okay. I'm Don't sorry for that. My mistake. That's okay. We had a little even among us, uh, we both speak English quite well, I think, and we still have some miscommunication in time. That's normal. Even in Chinese people do that, right? So that's okay. It's no problem. And I did notice that. So um, as I, I took screenshots again, uh, just like last week. Now, last week I took the screenshots. I believe it was Friday night. So I got most of what everybody posted. Uh, I was a little bit busy yesterday. So I did this uh, screenshot uh, PowerPoint stuff. I did this on Thursday night. So if you did post something yesterday or early this morning, it won't show up. Uh, sorry about that. Um, but in any case, um, I will show you uh, the questions now. So the first question was, uh, do you get scared or nervous talking to a native English speaker? And again, we had quite a few people respond. Uh, this is the first group of, of students that responded. So as Professor Wen said, he, he posted this twice. So this is the first one. There were 13 people. Um, and uh, yes, at first, but uh, because I'm an English teacher, then I have more chances to do it. So now I don't um, probably feel that way so much anymore. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Of course. Um, the more you speak, the more you meet people, um, uh, the less, the less self-conscious, the less nervous you will be. That's right. Um, yes, uh, I feel nervous, 100%, of course. All right. So again, this is again, this is related to the video, right? Uh, Mariana Pascal was talking about people in Malaysia, and so the reason I asked this is because she was saying that in Malaysia this is the situation, and I wanted to know is Taiwan similar or or different. And I think my my guess is it's similar for for many people. Again, every, everybody's different, of course. So you can't, you know, you can gen, you can make a generalization, but it may not be true for everybody. Um, a little bit, but I find it interesting, so I try. That's a good attitude. So um, that's that's kind of what Marianne Pascal was talking about, just doing it and not thinking too much, not worrying too much. Uh, yes, I feel a bit scared or nervous. All right, that's fine. Again, that's normal. Yes, uh, sometimes uh, I guess it's getting less and less. Um, and if, especially if I don't worry so much about giving the correct answer, I guess you're talking about grammar and vocabulary, things like that, but that's, that's right, yeah. Yes, that's my weakness. Again, that's, that's quite normal. I think a lot of people have that. Uh, I myself, um, when I speak Chinese, sometimes I get a little bit nervous with people uh, if I don't know them and, it, and depending on the situation. So it's quite normal. Uh, this, so that's the first group of people. Uh, here's the next group. Uh, yes, uh, yes. Okay. Sometimes, uh, again, I think it depends upon how often you speak and how, how you're feeling. That's right. Uh, sure. Yes. Uh, not really. I'll try to make them understand. I'll say, okay, so Amy is very brave. Um, that's good. Uh, so again, everybody's different, right? Some people get nervous. A lot of people get nervous, but some people maybe not. And again, as you improve and get better and better and more and more, more and more fluent, then of course you're going to feel uh, uh, less nervous. Uh, I don't feel scared. Uh, English is a tool. All right, good. Uh, no, I don't feel scared. Uh, if I have a chance, I'll be very excited. Okay, that's good. And then this is from the second group, the second uh, posting. So again, this is from Thursday night. So then um, this is this, there were seven more people. This is the second time you uh, posted. 
So these are uh, seven more answers to the first question. Uh, no, uh, <laughs> I, guess, uh, I guess I guess this person feels that like it's not my native language, so I don't worry about it. So I just try to do what I can do, and that that's that's good. That's that's that. Oops, that, that will. Uh, uh, if you if you again, as Marianne Pascal talked about it, the less you worry about these things, the easier it will be for you to to be successful. Uh, yes, uh, especially if somebody has a very special accent. Right. So again, you shouldn't feel bad about that because I mean, in fact, as as we know. Um, there are different Chinese accents, Mandarin accents, right? And English as well. So American English, we have, you know, I'm from Chicago, the Midwest. I have a Midwestern accent. Uh, somebody from the South or somebody from the East is going to sound slightly different for me. Uh, somebody from the UK uh, will sound different. Uh, somebody from Australia or New Zealand will sound different. So even, even for myself, I have a, a little bit of trouble sometimes uh, understanding uh, certain vocabulary words uh, or pronunciations, the accents of, of some people from um, Scotland or some parts of the UK um, or Australia. But again, the more exposure uh, you have, the easier it becomes. So that's right. Uh, that's that's quite that's a good answer. Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, yes, it's again talking about the accent. Okay, or if somebody speaks too fast, mm -hmm. a little bit. Uh, no, I talk to people every day, so I can practice every day. That's good. Okay. Again, not everybody has that uh, good opportunity, so that's that's part of the problem. And again, I will talk a little bit later on at, um, near the end of class about some different ways you can practice uh, speaking, um, even if you don't uh, have the opportunity, as some people do, to, to speak English every day at work, or if, if you don't have the opportunity to meet uh, a lot of foreign people often. Um, now, I'll give you some ideas about how to practice this, um, what you can do about that. Um, yes, uh, I get nervous sometimes. All right. That's right. Uh, all right, so these are about 20 different answers we have for the first question. That's good. Uh, quite a few people said they get nervous. Uh, some people said they don't get nervous. Uh, again, that's, that's fine. Everybody is different. So um, if you don't get nervous, good. Uh, keep going with that. If you do get nervous, again, just uh, try not to think about it too much, as, as the speaker in the video talked about, and, and focus more on the uh, person and the, the 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 purpose of your conversation, the result, as she talked about. And then uh, the less you think about yourself, uh, the easier it will become. Uh, I guess a lot of you are English teachers, and so you probably have the same experience with your students. Um, maybe you've seen them try to answer a question you've asked and they're trying to look for that perfect word or make sure their grammar is absolutely perfect and then it takes them a really long time to answer. Um, so again, it might be something you could experiment with your students, um, trying to push them to, to answer the question faster. Um, give them a time limit to answer the question. Um, there are different games you can um, 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 use to kind of uh, help people improve their fluency. Um, uh, I guess well, as long as we're talking about this, I can mention one thing in particular I've done um, that you might be interested in trying. Uh, so if you go into Google Chrome and you write uh, timer, type timer into it, um, it will give you a timer and you can broadcast it on your PowerPoint uh, slide and it will show you the, the time. So it'll be like, you know, go from like one second, two seconds, three seconds, something like that. Or you can make a countdown from one minute to zero. And what you can do is you can ask your student to stand up and say, um, okay, here's a question, answer the question, and then take 30 seconds or one minute to answer the question. Uh, because my experience is uh, most students try to give you the shortest answer possible. Uh, so again, um, short is usually good, but it has to be complete. So again, if you force them to kind of keep talking until they've really used up their time, they'll find ways to, to speak more. Uh, even if it takes five seconds or 10 seconds of, of, uh, uh, of silence, uh, the students can eventually get to the point where they're more comfortable speaking for longer chunks of time. And then of course, assuming your class is a very positive class and the students are friendly with each other, they will you know clap and cheer them on and, and and congratulate them and they'll feel very good and, and some kind of have some kind of sense of accomplishment if they can actually do that. Um, maybe later on we can do an example of that later. Um, all right, so let's move on. Uh, second question was, uh, when you were watching the video, did you feel like Mariana was describing how you feel acts? This is quite related to the first question about, again, feeling nervous. Um, so again, uh, yes, 
um, I get distracted by the words I don't know and I miss the whole picture. Yeah, that can happen. So again, you, 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 you understand what's going on and suddenly you hear a word you're not familiar with and you start thinking about that word and you kind of lose track of what's going on. That can happen. Um, I've experienced that in Chinese a little bit too. So again, um, try not to do that. <laughs> Easier said than done sometimes. Uh, but again, you want to you understand you want to understand the big picture, the whole picture, um, to communicate properly. So if you get stuck on the details, then um, you're going to have a problem communicating. Um, uh, so yes, um, I have difficulty organizing sentences. Okay, so I feel stressful. So again, that's that's again quite normal. So again, try to just say whatever comes in your mind and don't think over overthink overanalyze. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, yeah, I thought Marianne spoke quite smoothly. Um, she didn't use a lot of big, complicated words. Um, again, I, I couldn't see clearly who her audience was, but I think, of course, most of her audience was probably people from Malaysia. So uh, again, she wasn't. She wasn't um, as, as as any good public speaker should do. You should be talking to your audience. So um, you can adjust the level of your, your language depending on who you're talking to, right? So um, that's why she did that. And I think it worked. Um, I like the story about the pharmacy. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty good story too. It was interesting. And uh, I can imagine that happening. Um, all right, so this is 11 people who answered this. And here are the rest of them. Uh, I like the story. Okay. Uh, yes, that's what happens when I talk in English. My brain's busy searching for the words. All right, so yeah, that's right. Um, uh, easy to understand when communicating with situations. That's right, it is. Uh, getting to the point. Uh, I agree. Yes, that's true. Um, yeah, you still want to know if your grammar is correct. Right, you know, but that's also something you can do by yourself. Um, you, have to be, you have to have some kind of uh, self-awareness. So again, you, you don't want to be distracted. Um, but so again, even, even when I speak Chinese sometimes, uh, when I'll say something, um, I don't always recognize when I make a mistake, but oftentimes I actually will. I'll be talking to somebody and then later on I'll say, you know, when I said that thing to that person, I used the wrong word or the wrong tone. And, and so again, you, if you go back and you kind of review the conversation in your mind, you can sometimes catch your own mistakes. I mean, obviously, if you're talking to a foreign person who's willing to help you, um, you can ask them, you know, if I make a mistake, can you please let me know? Um, that's fine. Um, you can't do that in every situation, but um, certainly if you have a teacher, you could do that um, in a class. All right. And then the second grouping of people, three people. Uh, yes, it's true. Uh, I, it's hard for me to express myself uh, and then I get nervous. Sure, it's true. Uh, it's focus too much on grammar vocabulary and you get stuck and get nervous. That's right. Uh, yes, kind of. All right. So again, I think that's, that's quite true for a lot of people. And uh, again, uh, Malaysia and Taiwan are similar. And again, I think this is probably similar in a lot of countries. All right. The third question. Uh, do you think accuracy is more important than understanding? Uh, uh, Negative. Okay. Uh, the beauty of striking up conversation is another person you can have mutual understanding. All right. So again, um, uh, understanding is the most important. Okay. Uh, depend on the situation. All right. That's a reasonable answer. Um, if it's a communication, uh, then that's fine. Um, if you need to show your profession or your accuracy, then that's more important. Right. So again, it depends on the situation. <laughs> Obviously, if you're an English teacher and you're judging a, a speech contest and then you say something or pronounce things incorrectly or say things wrongly, then that would be kind of embarrassing. So yes, you have to pay more attention to your accuracy. So you might think carefully about you want and what, what you want to say. So, um, or if you're in a, a, a job situation um, and you're in a meeting, um, again, some people might judge you based on your uh, English level. So again, if, you, if, if they understand what you're saying, but you're making a lot of mistakes, then they might unfortunately judge you by that, which is, is, again, it's unfortunate, but it does happen sometimes. So you have to be a little careful. So I guess, yeah, in your job, um, it depends on the situation. So this is a good answer. Uh, understanding is more important than accuracy. Uh, understanding is important, but when we're studying, accuracy is important. Yes, that's right. Sure, of course. Right. 
Uh, I think when we're watching the video, understanding more important than that. Yeah, understanding. Okay, so a lot of you agree with that. Uh, understand, seek understanding, and then seek accuracy. All right, that's a good answer too. So again, I you know I don't think Mariano Pascal was was saying that you don't have to worry about grammar, you don't have to worry about pronunciation or vocabulary, but um, the key is understanding, and then from there, yeah, if you can then work on this, that's 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 great. So that's right. Uh, Understanding is important, yeah, all right. That depends, the form of situation, accuracy, understanding, okay, that's right, yeah. So again, these are all nice answers. Uh, yeah, of course, uh, when you're making a pun in English or jokes even, I mean, jokes, humor is very difficult to translate, right? So it doesn't always work. Um, it doesn't really matter how you say it. Um, accuracy is important. I mean, I, I think I remember when I first came to, to Taiwan, uh, people would ask me, you know, what what religion do you believe in or something like that. And then I know at, the, at that time, the joke, the, the joke in Taiwan was, uh, I believe in sleeping, right? So you can't really translate that joke, right? <laughs> 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 Right, so humor is very connected to culture, so it's it's not always something you can really translate. Um, and even if you translate it, it won't be funny then. So, um, or, or when you're making a pun, yeah. So of course, accuracy needs is important. Um, communication, yes. Uh, understanding is more important. All right, and then the second group. Uh, now I think understanding is more important. Okay, it depends. Uh, daily life, understanding is important, form of situations, test, speech, accuracy, word. All right, that's fair enough, yeah. Okay, she does, so she does actually talk about that. She talks, a, Mariana Pascal does talk a little bit about the education system in Malaysia, which I think is somewhat similar to the Taiwan situation, um, where uh, in certain levels of education, people focus a lot on grammar and vocabulary and things like that. So again, that's something we'll talk about in a minute. Not really languages for communication. All right, that's right. So a lot of you, uh, a lot of good, good answers. Any comments that we need to respond to yet, Professor Wen? <laughs> Let me see that someone is posting. All right. It says don't don't there be a prize question <laughs> asked this week? Oh, oh, Sorry, 但是他在回答的时候我的感觉了他说他要一秒钟前那个问题以前都是我帮他弄啦那今天因为事情大概多了因为我们要讨论其他的一些事所以很抱歉的这个刚好给各位听了二十分钟以后可以 然后没有关系,不管听懂听不懂,我们就catch the main idea 那所以我也没有告诉他说要放下来没有 
他他刚才也有说呢，如果你讲的越正确，还有你越有信心的话，就是沟通会比较好了，还有幽默可能会帮助双方的沟通。不过我一直在注意你们画面上的反应哦，所以我也没有完全在听他的哈，因为我们必须要有一个人在回应各位的问题嘛，这里一定要有人抓着回应问题。那我再跟各位讲一次哦，我们这个课程其实是非常非常的自由度很高。那我们大概高红色老师，如果你已经有登录教师认证系统的时候，你就到时候你有缴交座位，我们就会给你的哈。座位只有两个，只有两个哦哈。如果你有听到，请打一下 yes 啊嘿。如果你有听到，我现在正在讲了。第一个就是我们会留意你的阅读时间。那很抱歉，阅读时间必须经过 ET p a d d l e 那 ET p a d d l e 如果你登录不进的话，请用手机，好，请用手机。我们都有在我们的那个那个 FB 的 Post 上面把它贴出来。好，那第二个就是我们要各位练习阅读文章。那阅读文章其实你有阅读没有阅读 ，We don't know， 我们也不去 check 它。我们假设各位如果有回信。那我们希望你那个，如果你百分之百正确，我想有两种可能，一个就是你念的非常非常的正确，电脑听得懂；，另外一个就是你念的不正确，然后你就把它改过了。还有一种就是你直接 copy 过来，我们也都收了啦，呵呵因为我们就是用这种方法啊，就是不要给各位太大的压力。那我相信，我绝对相信，经过这一次的练习，你的英文一定会进步，不止你，我也会嘛。因为我事实上我的工作上并没有用到英文啊，只是这一次为了要上这个课，必须要跟外师沟通哦，所以我就会需要用到需要用到英文。那我也希望各位利用这个机会啦，哈，利用这次的机会把英文学好。不知道刚才，嗯，我那个 Professor Wu 的那个回应，各位有什么问题要讲吗？会不会太快？然后画面字太小，我告诉各位，画面上你把你的滑鼠慢慢移动。移动到那个屏幕的左脚，黑色屏幕的框的右脚，它会出现一个一个 screen， 你把它点一下 whole screen， 全屏幕它要写全屏幕，点下去它就变全屏幕了。可是你进入全幕有个缺点，你看不到我们同学的互动反应，你也看不到我的回应。好、哦，那他已经给我问题了，我现在马上去打了。好、哦，我现在马上去打了。OK， you just do you。All right， thank you。Uh, the answers are hard to read, so I'll tell you the answers. This is the question here. This is the question right here. Okay. Can you read? I got to. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. I got to key in that correctly. Yes, okay. right. Okay. Good for me. 我现在在那个第三周的问题在那里，然后我必须要去 create 一个，我必须要去 create 一个。And these are the answers. These two answers. Yeah, yeah. I wrote. And what is this? That's the answer, but I, you can't read the whole thing. Like th this is the question, but I thought you couldn't read it, so I, I'd show you this. This is the question. Okay. The answers are here, but it doesn't because it, it doesn't show you the whole. Oh thing. no, so the whole thing is that. So that yeah, they are two lines. Actually, yeah. two answers. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two Total two two answers. Answers. Then they can make it in one line. Yeah. Can they do that? 好吧，你可以继续的，我来做我的事了。我必须快点去贴问题了。Okay, sorry, 大家。等一下，各位在期待要得今天四十三。我们现在现在四十三，应该不止四十三了哈。等一下，每一个人一部平板。Okay, all right. So I will talk now. So uh, everybody's very practical, but thank you for thank you for reminding us. Um, all right. So I will try to speak a little bit slower. Uh, again, if if you have questions or I'm, I'm speaking too fast, let let us know. So, do you think accuracy is more important than understanding? So again, this is the second group of questions. Uh, no, I think understanding is more important. Uh, it depends, and then not really. All right. So again, I think most people. Um, have somewhat similar ideas. Uh, let's move on. All right, question number four. Uh, what did you learn from watching the video? Uh, again, this is the first group of people, 14 answers. I realized something when she mentioned her experience about buying omega-3. That is, when you communicate with others, be short and precise. That's right, right? So be short and very clear. Um, good. After watching the video, I realized that communicating through English is not that hard. Sometimes the easiest word is enough. Uh, that's right. So again, if you can, you know, use more complicated words, that's fine. You know, again, I know I've met some people who study Chinese and they always try to use uh, some kind of tongue you whenever they can, and and that's okay if you can do that. But if you can't do that, then don't worry about it. Just say what you can say. 
Um, focus on the other person and on the results you want to achieve instead of yourself. That's right. Uh, focus on the people's questions. Yeah. Don't be afraid. Um, don't judge yourself. Just do it. Yeah. Good. Uh, even if your English is not good, uh, talking, you can hear the keywords and you can communicate. That's right. Focus on another person. Don't think about your performance. That's right. English is a tool. Don't focus on the grammar or the spelling, actually. Okay, when you're talking, of course, you don't worry about that. But um, focus on the main target. Okay, that's right. Uh, inspired me. Uh, language is a tool. That's right. Uh, right. Try to tolerate other people's errors. That's right. So try not to judge people too much. If you don't want to be judged, then you shouldn't judge other people, right? <laughs> that's right. Uh, if you speak English, hey, oops, sorry about that. I keep doing that. Um, uh, practice makes perfect. That's right. Be brave. Good. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. Uh, so again, uh, this person gives a story about her husband not being fluent, but he can understand the, the important words, and he can in his uh, job, his profession. And you can go to in seminars and give papers. That's right. Good. Uh, don't be shy. That's right. Yes. Use the opportunity you to to practice. That's good. Uh, again, and the second grouping was uh, two people. Um, you should be interested in focus, yeah, and you should un understanding is more important than accuracy and entertaining and learning. All right, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so uh, hopefully when you learn something, it's interesting. So again, that's uh, in school, of course, you have to learn what the, the school or the teacher wants you to learn. But if you're doing this by yourself, of course, yeah, pick, pick something you like. Um, I think somebody last week talked about watching the, the French Open, that's good. If you like tennis, watch the French Open and listen to that. If you, somebody, I think somebody talked about uh, reading about or watching car news. Again, if you like cars, read about cars, watch uh, videos about cars, things like that. That's, that's right. Uh, keep focused, relax, don't worry about other people's feelings. Um, you know, don't feel, worry about them, how they're judging you, I guess. Yeah, that's right. All right, and then uh, one more question, last question. Hopefully you uh, took a look at the web resources. Uh, which one do you like best and why? Uh, British Council, uh, it has different sections based on the four skills. It also has a free test to kind of tell you where your level's at. That's good, yeah. Uh, TED, uh, because it has a, a lot of science information uh, that I can use related to my, my work, good. Uh, Ted, okay, that's good, but you didn't say why. Why is always the big the big question, right? Uh, so try to say why. Oh, okay, so then you did, yes, uh, because it's easy and it can help my listening. All right, good, sorry. Yeah, so you did answer that. Um, it's easier and it can help your listening. All right, that's right. Uh, I like Ted. Uh, uh, again, why would be better. Uh, I like Ted. You can learn English, but also others. I'm not sure what you mean by others. If you're talking about uh, just uh, other content, uh, again, like uh, this person talked about learning about science, uh, that's fine. Maybe that's what you mean. But actually, you can you can you can learn other languages. If maybe that's what you mean too. I'm not sure. So again, uh, if you're watching TED, somebody speaks English. They they also um, have the subtitles in other languages. So if you want to look at it in Japanese or or French or something like that, you could uh, you could practice with other languages as well. That's right. Um, TED, because it's lively and useful. All right, that's fine. Uh, British Council is good because you want to work on your speaking. Yeah, TED. Okay, TED. Uh, British Council. I used to use it with my students. I learned a lot. Uh, I recommend it. Give it a try. Yeah, good. Uh, TED, because it has different sources. Yeah, different topics. Yeah, so it's, TED is quite nice because it does cover a lot of different topics um, that are interesting to people. Uh, JR Lee Radio, all right. So again, uh, so she's she's posting about something that I didn't write about, but yeah, that's right. JR, JR Lee Radio, that's right. Uh, I think that's fine. I mean, I think a lot of people, I think a lot of young people today also like to look at uh, Adi, uh, his stuff on YouTube. I think uh, that's fine too. Um, 
I like TED, it's fun, it doesn't take much time. Uh, I like all the resources, especially British Council. Okay, It's got some games and activities that teachers can use. That's right. So if you're a teacher, yeah, they have a lot of resources for you there. So we might briefly talk about the different, uh, uh, of the four websites, because again, I'm not sure if people really use them all or not. Um, but some of them are quite interesting. So for example, um, I believe the, uh, the one on um, the one on uh, ESL video it has a different section where it actually has uh, songs. You can you can uh, listen to some songs and do some practice related to the songs. I know a lot of people like to do that. In fact, I think next week somebody's doing something about songs, right? Yes. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. That's John. John. John is coming. All right. Okay. All right. And uh, the last group. Uh, do you know the the song "The Way We Were"? The way we were. Yeah. Yeah. That's an old song, right? Yes. 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 That's that's you have discuss about the story <laughs> behind, and also for the movie. I think that's quite interesting. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a classic song. There you go. Um, so lots of resources. Um, this person also likes to uh, learn English from movies and sports. That's fine. Uh, news, movies, soap operas. All right. Picture books. All right, that's fine. These are all good answers. Again, they, they're not actually talking about the, the four resources that I mentioned, but that's all right. Um, those are good answers. All right, so yeah, there's lots of different things people um, um, make comments about, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you do take a look at the different websites. Again, as we talked about last week, um, everybody's different. So I, I offered up four websites. Um, maybe you like one of them and you don't like three of them. Maybe you like a different one and, and you like different, you don't like the other three. So again, whatever one works for you is, is good, um, as long as you can find something. And again, perhaps um, your classmates in, in the, uh, the chat room or, or here will mention something else that you think is interesting that you didn't know about and, and you can check that out. Um, so that's, that's fine, fair enough. All right, oh, so, there's a couple things that I thought were interesting from her her speech. Um, so, I let me get back to my uh, paper here. Oh. So she she talked a lot about um, you know focusing on the person you're you're speaking to and. And, and not worrying so much, not being so self-conscious and not being so judgmental of, of yourself or even the other person. So again, that's kind of what I wanted to talk a little bit about. And um, I, I mentioned earlier that I would give you some ideas about how to do that. So the websites we're going to talk about in a minute are, are, are one thing you can do. Um, another thing you can do is, is this. Um, uh, there's a nice uh, organization called Toastmasters International. Um, perhaps some of you know about it. Um, I think some of the English teachers have probably heard about it or even joined it before. But this is a quite a nice uh, club. Uh, it started off in America probably 90 or 100 years ago, actually. And it's spread all over the world now. Taiwan is, is a really big booster of this. A lot of, there are a lot of Taiwanese clubs, a lot of strong clubs, uh, especially in Kaohsiung. And the point of it is uh, to practice your leadership skills and your public speaking skills. Now, a lot of people here um, in Taiwan also use, uh, uh, use it for a third. These are the two main purposes of it. But in Taiwan, of course, and, and other countries outside the US, it's also used as a way to uh, practice or improve your English. So um, this is something you can, you can look at. Uh, Visit a club that's near you. This is the, the website here. Uh, there are clubs all over Kaohsiung, Pingdong also, Tainan, everywhere, all over the, all over the country. And uh, they have clubs for English. Uh, they have clubs for uh, Japanese. They have clubs for Taiwanese. Uh, they have clubs for Mandarin Chinese as well. So again, uh, the main focus is leadership and public speaking. Um, but a lot of people, like I say, use it to also improve their English. So this is one way you can use uh, to get a chance to speak. Uh, again, some of you are lucky, uh, you're English teachers or you work in a, in a job where you meet a lot of foreign people um, and you can speak English. 
Um, if you if you aren't in that kind of situation, then this might be a good way for you to practice. A lot of the clubs meet once a week or once every two weeks, so it's not a huge time uh, commitment, uh, but it's not a bad way to to work and to work on your language skills. Um, the second thing I thought was quite interesting um, from her speech was she was very positive, and again she talked a lot about you know don't judge yourself so harshly. Uh, and I was. I also wanted to say that this is something I learned from from Toastmasters as well, and it's related to what Mariana Pascal talked about. You want and, to talk about more and uh, this more about more. What is the Toastmasters? I, I just did. Okay, <laughs> you did that. Okay. <laughs> well, I talked a little bit about it, but okay, so I I could talk a little bit. Say more. that again. So okay, so <laughs> just for me because yeah, I'm walking. When I was here, he was he was doing something else. So he wasn't 100% uh, with us there. That's fine. Um, I can repeat that. So Toastmasters International, it started in the United States about 90 or 100 years ago. And the main purpose, two purposes are to cultivate, to improve people's leadership skills because you have to be a, a member and then people have to be the president, the vice president, the speaker, uh, the secretary, things like that. You have to do jobs. And so uh, you often change. You're not, you don't have the same people doing it every, every year. So everybody gets a chance to, to learn leadership, organization skills, management skills, but also the other big purpose is public speaking. Now, in America, of course, it's public speaking, but in Taiwan, it's public speaking and often English. Do we have that in Kaohsiung? Yes, we have many clubs. How to join that? Right. And where we can find the um, information or message? About the way to join this club. Alright. Uh, so, I very encourage everyone to join. I've actually been talking to my son and my daughter. They are studying in Toastmasters. They have entered the university class. But most of them are in the small university classes. Okay. But I also said that the university 那他们都安排很多的那个 study plan 或者是 study overseas 就是海外的留学团。那学校里面也有 toaster master 那我知道那个东海大学也有啦台北有很多大学都有所以你可以如果你有兴趣的话你可以加入高雄的 toaster master just one or they do have several different branch all right so there are many clubs so this is their web page here for taiwan and again it's quite easy you can click on chinese or english whatever you want and even japanese uh so i'm going to use the english one i'm more familiar with that so there are lots of clubs uh you can find a club here you can about toastmasters find clubs and there are lots of clubs as uh, dr wen just said um, there are just regular clubs. Um, so, okay, let's look at... Can that be too faster? Because it needed time for delay time. Oh, okay. The delay time is about 15 seconds. Okay. So when you can change the, the screen, you get a little, little okay. story. Oh, okay, 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 okay. sorry. And, all right, so go to About Toastmasters, then go to Find Clubs, and then you can click on your city. And let's look at Kaohsiung since that's what we are. So it looks two groups. No, 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 no. Two branches in Kaohsiung. I mean in Kaohsiung. Kaohsiung search. All right, so here we go. You've got this one. Um, you've got this one, uh, Kaohsiung Toastmaster Club, KTC. This is the oldest club. I believe they've been in operation for more than 50 years. It's one of the oldest clubs in, Gao in Taiwan, actually. It's a very strong club. Um, and there's uh, another club here in Toyin. Uh, there's a club at, uh, this club started about two years ago, I think, Zhongshan University. It's a university club. That's what I mentioned, yeah. that in the university, yeah, 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 they yeah. do get in there. Right. Here's, for the here's another club, uh, Ailmax. And uh, here's another club, KMU. I think it originally started at Gao Yi but now it's not necessarily a Gaoi club. And I think they don't even meet at Gaoi. They meet somewhere else. Um, and, and, oh, and Shishenlu, you know, okay, so they do, okay, they do meet at Gaoi, yes. <laughs> Sorry about that. They, they do meet at Gaoi's, but it's, it's not just for them. Other people are, are members of that club too. I think actually one of the other teachers from my school, who's a Japanese uh, guy, 
I think he's a member of that club. Um, there's another club here. This Are you a member of the Toaster Master? Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. So, so For which fun. one you are joining now? My school. Your school? Oh, we have, we have so <笑>所以大家可以到那个那个餐礼大学如果你们要去加入餐礼大学的 各位有看到的话，请打一下 yes, if you see my postings of the Google form for your answer, the but we haven't announced the correct answer. If you know that, you can post that right now. Now later, I think Professor Wu will, will give us the correct answer. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, and actually, I think one year or two years ago, actually Gao Shida just opened a club. So uh, that's another one. That's a student club again. Uh, here's my club for my school. Uh, and, and coot. Um, so we meet on Tuesday. So again, you can see the when they meet uh, Tuesday. Now a lot of course the university clubs. How many meet, hours? It's two hours usually. It's two hours. What time? Well, uh, my my club is seven to nine. Seven to nine. But but different clubs are different times. So again, the the Gawi club is seven thirty to nine thirty, and it's a different. It's uh, uh, Wednesday. Our okay. my club is Monday. So again, there's lots of clubs in Kaohsiung, as you can see. What are they mostly do when they meeting in your session? What, what does the, the, sure. the are, members usually do? There are three main sections of the meeting. Sanke. 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 So uh, again, the, the meeting is run by the officers, the president, the vice president, and they run the meeting. And uh, so the, for even the student club, I, I don't- Are you the president? No, 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 no. I don't take an officer role. We students, hold that. No, 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 no. The students, <laughs> we want the students to learn and practice. So I don't do that. I help them when they need help. But anyway, so the first part is speeches. So anywhere from two to five different people will speak. Uh, they will have a prepared speech. They usually have to prepare a speech. They take a one week or two weeks to get a speech ready and they speak for about five or six minutes. Um, again, trying not to use notes. And uh, it's easier, of course. Not to use notes. Yeah, right, no notes. So they got to memorize, right, right. Not, not recitation, not citation. Right, no. that's right. Uh, just yeah, just uh, very naturally speak. Right, that's they right. Are, OK, that's, that's right. good. Yes, that's right. So no, no notes is better. Uh, PowerPoint is OK, but we don't encourage that, because when people use PowerPoint, they tend to use it as a crutch to, to lean on it, to help them remember everything by putting a lot of words up there. And that's not good. If you just want to show a picture, that's OK. But um, anyway, so there's a speech. And then the second part of the, uh, the, the meeting is they call table topics, which is uh, impromptu speeches. Uh, right? So somebody will say a question um you know something it could be something really easy like you know what did you do during winter vacation or you know what's your favorite movie and why and then you pick somebody and they go up and they just have to answer the talk for one minute or two minutes just right away without thinking in about your it. school group is mm -hmm. that got to be the student or anyone can participate in science yeah so the the, the first part where the, the prepared speech is it should be club members club members. the second part where you have uh the the table topics or the impromptu speeches table topic it called it a lot but it's like an impromptu speech mm -hmm. it could be anybody at the meeting so okay. it could be a, a student member it could be me it, if you visit our club professor Wen, you could get called on you have to go up and talk uh, it could be anybody right no nobody is safe okay <laughs> Okay, and then the third part of the meeting, which is really important, is the evaluation. So uh, people who have a little bit more experience will then evaluate the, the, the first speakers and give them feedback about their speeches, uh, what, was, uh, what they liked about it, what they could improve on. So that's very important. That's a, those are the three main parts of the meeting. I think at the end that they, were, they would like to know what is the membership, the payment of the annual, annual payment. Sure. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> That's every, a key point. Yeah, every club is different. Uh, some clubs are quite cheap. Uh, you, usually the university clubs are pretty cheap. Uh, the other uh, outside clubs are usually more money. But I think it's probably anywhere from uh, 3,000 NT to 4,000 NT for one year. 
but that's cheap. But it's I think it's cheap because you get uh, materials, you get books and and information from the club, and also you can go to other clubs and join their meetings, and you don't have to pay. Uh, so um, some people go to you know their main club once a week, and then or twi once every two weeks, and then they go visit other clubs every month or two. Um, so for example, our club is a student club. The student clubs don't usually meet in the winter and summer vacation. So um, you can go to other clubs. The students go home to Taoyuan or Taipei or wherever, they can go visit other clubs in the summertime if they want, and they don't have to pay for that. So there are lots of clubs here. You can look for the club by location. You can look by the club by the meeting day, what day of the week it, it meets to see when they meet. Most clubs meet once a week or once every two weeks, usually on the same day. Um, you can look for a club by language. So if you want to take, if you want to join an English club, a Japanese language club, a Chinese club, a Taiwanese club, a Hakka club, uh, or even a bilingual club, you can do that. So there are different kinds of clubs um, where they have, usually the bilingual is English and Mandarin Chinese, uh, usually. Um, but they have lots of clubs. Um, so this is a pretty good uh, way to practice your English speaking and listening, I think. Um, so again, um, I, I recommend that. And as I was watching Mariana Pascal's uh, video, it reminded me of the Toastmasters because uh, in Toastmasters, everybody is always very positive and very supportive. And people don't judge you, uh, even if you have lower English or lower Mandarin or lower Taiwanese, whatever. They don't judge you. They're always trying to encourage you. And they don't want people to feel bad. They want people to feel good and, and speak more and have more confidence. So I like that. And so actually, I find I, I, after I joined Toastmasters maybe five or six years ago, I started changing a little bit about how I evaluate my students, uh, particularly when I give them oral testing. So uh, and that's related to uh, that's related to um, Toastmasters. A lot of times when we do Toastmaster, the evaluator section. So like I said, you have uh, you have the uh, speech, call them uh, prepared spe speeches. Then we have table topics or impromptu speech. And then we have evaluation. So when we do the evaluations, what a lot of people do is they they do this sandwich method, right? Which is something I started doing with my teaching evaluations for my students also. So it's the sandwiches. When you have sandwich, you have bread or a bun, like a hamburger, and then you have the meat. I'm a vegetarian, so I will have a veggie burger in the middle. <laughs> And then you have another piece of bread or a bun. So then you have the praise. So you say something the student or the speaker did well. You give them some encouragement. You talk about what you liked. Then you give them some constructive criticism. So again, you point out something they could improve about, but you say it in a nice way. And then you give them more praise. So when, they, when you finish, they're feeling good because you said something good at the end. And so I've started doing that with my student evaluations as well. Uh, previously, I would just say, OK, um, well, that was pretty good, but you, you made a mistake here, you made a mistake here, you made a mistake here. And I realized, oh, geez, that's not very good. If I was a student, I would feel bad. So then I started using this method, and I feel like the students are getting more confidence now. And I realized that in Toastmasters, that's also a way to encourage people and, and to be more positive. So I think that's something we can all try. Um, in our in our daily lives. So it's just a man. Ah, he's in the people, and then give gifts. Ah, that's good. That's good. I like that. He said we don't do too much. Of course, this is not criticism. Ah, it's not about whether you're good or bad. Good or bad. Anyway, they will encourage you to use a positive attitude to make you feel better. Okay. All right. Um, and you can also use this method to encourage people to use a positive attitude to make you feel better. Okay. All right. And I have the wrong PowerPoint here. Can you? You want to change the PowerPoint? Yeah, I. I this you just change that in your computer. Okay, okay. Then you will show here. You can change that now. Okay. Oh, then I can handle that. Uh, give you three minutes. Yeah, just any one okay. minute. Yeah. He said he wants to change the PowerPoint. Then I will talk to you guys. Okay.
。那我刚才已经把，因为有人提醒啊，所以我忘了在我们那个在我们的单元里面，我刚才其实已经把它放上来，我给各位看一下哈。都没有关系，哎 ，OK， 好，那在我们的课程里面，在我们的课程里面，这个我先把它收起来，这个要把它收起来，然后我刚才有贴了，哎，应该是在这里，这一周的问题。哦，顺便做一下小广告，就是如果你有升高一的学生想学，这里有一些讯息。因为未来高中生考大学要考 APCS 就城市检测，这里有各位可以进去看。然后我刚才有贴这一周的问题在哪里呢 ？Let me check it. <笑> oh, I got to refresh this to website. Okay. Yeah. And that it could be under. Top of somewhere, someone can want to join here.、Mm. Oh, 好，第三周要讲问题，在这边，这个得奖者还没有来，你可以把你的名字填在这里面，自己填。啊，就得奖，就点这里哈，点下去以后，他会进入 Google Classroom， 然后第三周又等真真答。那刚才，嗯，那个 David 他给我的题目是这样、嗯、，Is that correct? Uh, basically, yeah. So according to Mariana Pascal, oh, what two things should you do to be a successful communication? 嗯哼。这个字对我来讲都太小了了哈，这个这个字真的太小，所以各位，然、哦、后两个，然、哦、后各位就填一个，我应该把其中一个拿掉，没关系，你就填吧，你一个留空掉，哎呦，这个它上面是可以留空的。OK， 所以我要改一下哈，呃，我看就不要改了，我就不要就不要改，因为改的话它产生错误。那各位就从把它 copy 一次就好了 ，OK， 然后写上你的中文名字，然后把答案写在这里，好、哦。嗯，好，我待会就会就会就会看你们的答案了。你要不要 ？So what will you give them the answer? Or did did you discuss about this? We haven't talked about it yet. Okay, you gotta go fast. Okay, okay. Well, okay. So this is why I wanted to change my PowerPoint. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna give you the answer. You have to work.、Oh. For, you have to work for it. Oh, I'm not gonna change it. Oh no. Yes, nothing is free in this world.、Okay? Nothing is free. Okay. If you want, if you want the、uh, tablet PC, you have to. <laughs> we have to work. So,、uh, here's another thing I wanted to show you. I like to use this with my students. So it's called uh, uh, Socrative. Go ahead, 仔细听哦，它答案就在里面。All right. So what you need to do is you need to type in Google or whatever you're using. Type in Socrative into your、uh, desktop. Uh, search engine, and then click where it says student login. You want to say based on the on the words, what is the meaning of Socratic? Okay, it comes from Socrates. Socrates, 记得苏诶，早期的三大哲人，苏格拉底、柏拉图跟亚里士多德。That's right. 他就叫苏格拉底。Right. So Socrates was、uh, from ancient Greece. He 好像是用哦希腊的古哲学，他好像是问答式，他比较他的教学就问答式。Right. That's right. So that so this is what the point of this、uh, app is. It's for teachers to be able to ask questions to students and、um, or even test them,、um, and teachers can give the answers. So again, type in Socrative into your、uh, browser, and then where it says student login, you can log in. And then、um, it'll ask you to fill in a classroom、uh, number. This is our classroom, and I'm going to give you a quiz. <laughs> and by answering the quiz, you will find out the answer to the question of today. <laughs> If you want a chance to win the、uh, tablet PC, so like I said, you have to earn it. You have to work for it. So again, go go to Socrative. Click in student login, and then it'll ask you for a classroom. 
and then type this in this is a classroom of, code yep classroom code this is my classroom code and then it will after you click this uh, uh input this it will probably look like this waiting for next activity to begin because i haven't started the activity yet all right so can you uh can you type in i'm in maybe and let us know if we can start the activity 他说你们都做好了吗都进入课程了吗你都进入课程他就要开始了哈如果你有进入把它写 yes or down yeah that's good that means that you get in yeah. already okay good 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 so what is the, all the right. screen all right let's do it so let's go here and Socrative. all right so this is my um so this is the thing what you can do is you can give your students a quiz. And I like to use this because the students will use uh, their phones and the school internet uh, to look at the questions and answer. And then I will be able to download their results by Excel file to my computer uh, and then, or my phone. And then I, I already have their scores. I just can input them into my grading book. Um, uh, I can ask them questions. I can, a multiple choice question, a true false question, a short answer. So today we're going to do a quiz. So I'm going to start the quiz. Oh. All right. I'm going to start the quiz. I'm going to use this one. And instant feedback. So you have to type your name when you when you when you answer this you'll have to use your name and you should be able if you're on your phone or your computer you should be able to start right now i'm going to turn off the names so again if you're not in yet um if you're not in yet okay it looks like there's three people already okay more and more people are joining good 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 uh, if somehow you missed what was happening here, uh, while people are answering the quiz questions, I will go back here once again to show people. Uh, please type in Socrative into your browser or your phone, your mobile phone browser, your computer browser. Then type in this number to join. This is the class code. And then you can start the quiz. How many questions? Ten yeah. questions. Ten questions. Oh, 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 oh. 一共一共厉害回答十个问题呢 <laughs> Uh, so right now, how so, many well, so, participants in the in the? Uh, well, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, or sixteen. Oh, so do we need more for that? Yeah, and then so, green means correct. 好，各位就开始打了。Don't be shy, people. Don't be shy. 啊，你们可以慢慢加入啊，然后我们先给你那个class uh, code. Okay. So, 那各位，但不要不要不要担心哦，就是有很多人可能那个答案。会不会说认为我们在考你一个一个的例子？然后都很简单，都是很简单的题目。嘿，所以现在请class give you more time to think about the answer of the questions. Okay, so let's see. Uh oh. <laughs> you guys are purposely making things wrong, right? You're answering wrong, right? That's you're doing on purpose, right? <laughs> so green green is correct and red is incorrect. Don't worry, just you can just answer anything. You don't have to worry about the correct or incorrect. But um I just wanted to show you how to use this software, this app. It's quite useful for giving quizzes. And also, I wanted to show you the different ways you can ask questions. And I'm not, I'm not showing anybody's names. If I wanted to, I could show the names and then we could see who these people are, but I'm not gonna do that because I don't want anybody to feel bad. Uh, but you could do that. 
。伊<笑>讲<笑><笑>吼，迄面顶其实会当加迄个迄学员的名用伫面顶啦，但是即马无爱用啦，嘿。因为咱唔是咧比赛英语啊。我我们不是在比任何好坏的，所以他他这里是，如果你是老师，你可以 check 学生是谁是谁。那我们大概只是 run 一个游戏嘛，哈， run 一个游戏。You know in Taiwan teachers they they don't like to be evaluated. <laughs> right.、Yes. I think it's the same thing in the. Of course, of course. But then that's good. That's okay. But, but then but just for fun. Sure, sure. Well. You don't want to be evaluated. Then, then you then you also have to sympathize with your students if they don't want to be evaluated either. Okay, <laughs> right. But you want to know the learning of course, of course, so you got to do that. Of course, but you have to be nice about it, right? Positive. <laughs> 很快哦，现在哎呦，有人全部答对呢。到目前为止，有人全部答对。Oh, I don't want to show that then. 有些人速度比较慢。Want to show that? Okay. Don't be shy about joining. If you want to join again, Socrative. And then. 他说他最后的结果不秀给你们看了。<笑>没关系，你你可以知道自己的。嗯、mm. ，Yes, that's right. You'll you'll know your own answers. How to get in? How to get in? Eh? How to get in? Get in. Okay, he will tell you. Tell you. Tell them the. Okay, so once again,、uh, go to your browser and type in Socrative. 他说在 browser 上，哈，在 Google 的那个搜索引擎打入 Socratic, Socratic, Socrati. Yeah. 然后在那里面，然后打进去，它有一个 Socratic. 嗯 ，student login, 学生 login 那里，啊，你就 login 那个地方，那。其实，如果你不是现在跟我们一起玩，你是回头再来 review。我们的 review 的点阅率很高，非常高。第一周的点阅率有到八百多人，哎，我忘了六百多还八百多，很多。然后第二周的现在还是三百多。那很多人事实上他是现在没有加入我们，但我们这个课程就是你不应到，因为线上教学它最大的优点就是它免除了时间跟地点的限制，所以你要回来看、嗯、，That's fine。你就回来，然后知道这个方法，自己也可以练习。好，那只是各位看到左上角四十个人，如果真的四十四个人，你中奖的机会就比较高了啦。嗯 ，All right, let's go back and see how we're doing. All right, so somebody, somebody finished. Finished? Yeah, some people, two people are finished. These are, hey, are they finished? That's question ten. Yeah, there's ten questions. So these two people have finished already. You can move it.、Uh, move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. This <laughs> is okay. Well, 那个红字那个无所谓哈，我觉得这只是在玩，不要太在意那个正确率哈哈。So I took most of the questions from、uh, the 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 video, right? Which video? The the video they were supposed to watch. The video that you show, you get them. Yes, that's right. All right. So it, you can keep answering if you want, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit、uh, about this program. So I like this because, again, it,、uh, if I want, I can see who's answering. That's fine.、Um, but also, I can see,、uh, like for example, number one. It looks like most everybody got that correct. It was ninety percent. So that's quite nice. And、um, so after you finish this, the students, of course, will know their answer, and、um, you can also discuss the questions that gave them trouble. So if one of the questions they they didn't know the answer to, you know, like so for example, this one only thirty nine percent are getting it right. That's okay. So then you can you can discuss it. So this could be used as as a practice quiz,、um, you know, as a way to test people, and then the teacher knows. You know, because you know what it's like. You 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 ask students a question and they they don't they don't answer you, or they oh yeah we know we know we know we understand, but they 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 don't. So if you actually test them on this, then you'll see if they got it right or not. And then if they're having trouble, then you can click on it and then talk about it. So I'll click on number four. No. I'll click on number four, and then it takes me to number four.、Uh, which one is an idiom? Okay. 
uh, at the post office, life is like a race, kick the bucket. Her hair is dark as the night, okay? So, so you have to choose A, B, C, D, right? Which one's an idiom? Because in my, um, in my, that? In the, In the reading article I gave you, um, one of the words was idiom, right? Where is it? It's not opening up. Where are you? Okay, there we go. So one of the words, this is these are the vocabulary words from the reading, right? Um, the reading I wrote. So one of the words was uh, idiom, right? Idioms, right? That's why I put that on the test here. So um, if students have trouble with that, then we can, we can talk about it, right? So again, for, for these kind of answers, the teacher could just uh, show the, this tell you the right answer or the wrong answer. But in this one, I actually explained it to you, right? So I said, at the post office is a prepositional phrase. Uh, life is like a race is an analogy. Uh, kick the bucket, that's an idiom, right? So idioms are you know, words that are put together that mean something that you can't look, you don't know just from looking at it, right? Her hair is dark as the night, that's a simile, right? So again, um, I, I purposely wrote in a simile and, and analogy, uh, simile because I wasn't, I didn't know if people know that word, but then you have to look it up. Um, so um, that's, that's the, that one question. So again, you can, you can check to see how people did. It looks like most people did well. Uh, of course, question number 10 is the key question. <laughs> None of them can correct. Right. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to finish this. If you're not done, that's OK. I'm going to finish this. All right, so I'm going to click Finish. And then, see, I can, I can get the report. I can download it uh, as a Excel if I want, or a PDF. I can email it to myself. So I can keep it and for the, the grading and the records, okay? So I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna go back to quizzes. So you can keep taking it if you want. And I'm gonna go here to talk about it. So these are the quizzes, these are the questions I set up. So uh, what is a synonym of effect? So effect was one of the vocabulary words from the reading this week. And also, Synonym, it, we taught you last week. Remember, we talked about the dictionary uh, and the thesaurus, and the synonym is a similar word. And then, <laughs> yeah, so I, I, again, like I told you before, I like to kind of use, recycle things. So last week we talked about synonym. So synonym of effect. So the answer is influence, right? What is a synonym of insight? Again, another one of our vocabulary words from the reading. Uh, understanding. Someone just bring up questions. Says that okay. Socrative is uh. much like Kahu. Yes. So right. That's a good point. Um, so Socrative is similar to Kahoot. Um, there are some differences. Cause Kahoot is more gamey. It's more for fun for for games. Uh, Socrative has a game function so there is a way to make a race out of these kind of questions we can make a they have um if i go if i go to launch I, if i go to space race this is kind of a game game base game base where you can separate students into teams and then they have these rockets racing along the screen so it's a kind of competition yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's a little bit like the hoot but this one is more for uh, re review or for quizzing or for asking questions. So again, there is definitely some similarity between Kahoot. This one is not as flashy or gamey as Kahoot. Uh, but so I use this more for, like I say, review quizzing or, or, or in class, if I ask a question to students, um, I will immediately get answers knowing if they understand it or not. So again, like I just said, you know, if, if I say, uh, if I ask you a question and you all say yes, or you look, you just don't really say anything, I don't know if you really understand or not. 
But if I ask you a question and then I make it here a true false question or you have to answer, type in your question, then I'll know for sure if people understand or not. So the person who wrote that, it's like Kahoot is, is right. It's, it is similar to Kahoot, Kahoot in some ways, but there are some differences as well. Um, I myself prefer this, but I know a lot of people like Kahoot and that's fine. Again, like I said before, use what you want to use, use what works for you. So if we go back to the quiz, um, like I said, I use the word synonym. I use the word synonym. Um, I use the, the answer is understanding for uh, insight. Uh, then this one is the antonym, the, the opposite, right? Fan yi zi. Right. Antonym. Yeah, so what's the antonym of intimidating? Uh, 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 eh? So I made a mistake here. I think the, the answer, <laughs> I, I, I wrote the wrong, I wrote, I wrote the wrong, I, I typed, and yeah, so it shouldn't be aggressive. Sorry about that. Um, so I made a mistake here. Uh, so forget about that. Uh, what's is an idiom? Kick the bucket. And again, if if you're giving a quiz, you don't you can you can give an explanation or not give an explanation. That's okay. Uh, who was a more successful communicator, the store clerk or the sales rep? Okay, that was from the video. Okay. Uh, what instrument did Mariana Pascal's daughter study? Okay, it was piano, right? Uh, what did Mariana Pascal want to buy at the pharmacy? Uh, is omega three? Uh, I just you just have to write omega. That's fine. Um, uh, the pills she wanted to buy were for her heart. Uh, I think they were for her brain, right? Again, I'm not, this is not for real. So we're just kind of, I think I made a mistake earlier. So it, it's not so important there. I'm just kind of showing you what you can do with this. Um, according to Marianne Pascal, English is not an art to master, but it's a tool. That's right. And number 10 is the key one, right? According to Marianne Pascal, what two things should you do to be a successful communicator? Okay, so let's see, what are the answers? Well, it's, it's hard to read that. Let's go to edit function, we can read it. Uh, focus, focus on the other person and focus on the result you want. So those are the key things. Focus on the other person and focus on the result you want. Focus on the other person and focus on the results you want. All right. So that's kind of what she was talking about. Now, of course, she talked about um, um, not worrying so much. Uh, don't think too much, don't worry about being judged, things like that. But her main point, I think, in, uh, when she was talking about how how you can do as well as Fazal or whatever his name was, uh, again, these are the key points that she was talking about. Anyway, this is the answer. So <laughs> if you want, if you want to, you might disagree with the answer, that's okay. Uh, if you think she had two different, different ideas, that's fine. Uh, but uh, for the purposes of this, uh, this drawing for the 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 the, the uh, tablet computer. Um, the question is, what what does she say uh, you can do to be successful? And the answers are these: focus on another person, focus on your results. Right? Okay. Any any people have comments, questions? 那他要问各位有没有问题 better light than never. Okay. I'm going to ask a question again to show you another. Oh, one. Have one. Do you prepare one more quiz? PC? Do you I? want to ask a question? Yes. You say you have no, to no, ask no, one no, more no, question. No, 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 no. You got to no. say yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. You, you, you interrupted me. Uh,
I, I, I have a question to, to show you another function of Socrative, not to, <laughs> not to give a PC. Uh, oh, when well, else you're trying to make jokes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you another question. So I'm gonna make a quick question to you. Uh it's true or false. So uh I'm gonna stop the current test that we're doing, the quiz we're doing right now. Okay. So here we go. So the question is, uh, on your again, you, you, if you're still in Socrates, you don't have to do anything. This this should show up. This true or false should. Sh I haven't asked the question yet. Don't <laughs> don't. He said he hasn't asked the question. You've already started to answer. The the question is, who has tried ESL video before? Who has tried ESL video before? So true would be yes, I get this. In this case, true would be yes. And false would be this, B. So have you tried ESL video? Yes, true, false, no. I'm curious to see who has actually looked at that before. So this is one way you can ask a question. You can ask people to do true or false, and you can see how many people answered. So it looks like it's 45 to 55, right? So I can get kind of an idea about who has tried it and who hasn't tried it, right? So this is another way you can ask a question, OK? Um, uh, so. The reason I ask is because I, I feel like people have probably looked at TED before and the British Council, but maybe you didn't have time to look at ESL video. So I wanted to quickly show you that before we finish up. Someone else can you step free? Yes. So let's let's go there right now. Um, so ESL video. And um, it's free. It has different functions. Uh, again, teachers can use this too. Uh, I don't think you have to pay, but you there may be some kind of paid account. I'm not sure. But for basic student practice or use, it's free. And they have videos. They have uh, levels, uh, beginning, low, intermediate, intermediate, high, intermediate, advanced. Uh, they have things related to TED Talks. They have things related to songs. So this is what I wanted to show you. So let's look at, um, oh, so here's a TED Talk, Advanced. Uh, looks like 7,000, almost 400 people have looked at it so far. Um, this one is more like an, an ESL lesson where somebody's talking about the, the order of the adjectives. Um, this is uh, talking about penguins going shopping. It seems kind of strange, but okay. Uh, so let's do the, what can we do? What looks interesting? Let's look at uh, something from intermediate. What do they have? So uh, let's see. Baby sea lion rescue. OK, so we can click on that. And then this is an intermediate lesson. And there's a video you can watch. And then. You can look at the transcript to see what they said in the video, which is nice. And you can also take a quiz to make sure you understand uh, the information. So you can go through this and, and answer the questions. And then when you get to the bottom, you can click. Uh, there's 17 questions. You can click on see how you did to see uh, what you got right and what you got wrong. So I think this is quite nice. Um, they also have stuff on grammar. They have. Uh, songs, which I think is quite interesting as well. So again, you can, um, here's a Sam Smith song, which looks somewhat popular. I'm not a big fan, but that's okay. Um, so again, you can listen to part of his song, 
And then again, you can look at the transcript if you want. This is what he sings. And you can take a quiz. Uh, it's kind of testing you on the vocabulary. What, what did you hear? What did you hear? Um, this looks like it's, uh, again, vocabulary, um, kind of a vocabulary grammar question. And again, you can check to see how you did. So I know a lot of people like to use songs, so you can try that. But all this is free. So again, I can, I can just play this right now, and then I can listen, watch it, and then I can try the, the quiz myself. And there's no, you don't have to pay any money. It's free, right? It's free. So again, um, if you like uh, British Council or if you like TED, that's fine. Use it. Um, if this looks interesting, give this a try too. It, it's, it's up to you. Um, you can do what you want to do. They even have some TED Talks here. So um, let's see. This one looks popular. What makes a good life? All right. How to have a good life. All right. So again, you can um, watch the, the talk, look at the transcript, take a quiz. All right. And some people even make comments. This one, nobody's made a comment. But sometimes they, some people even make comments on these things. So this one's not bad. This one's not bad. Um, so I wanted to go back to uh, the PowerPoint briefly. I'm almost done, right? So how many pages how many? in your slide? How many uh, pages PowerPoint? you want to talk? Yes. Oh, I'm almost done. I don't, have to, done. I don't have to finish everything. As any good teacher, we always prepare more information than we need, right? Oh, yes. You, you never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm almost done. Uh, that's OK, because I know you want to talk. Uh, I just want them to prepare for today's question. All right. So do you have any answer they want to them to fit in about your questions? Yeah, so... You want to show them? Okay. Well, I didn't type it, but I can type it. Uh, let's see. Okay. 我本來是希望各位用LINE,如果你願意talk的話, if you want to talk with uh, David using the line uh, for line talk, I can open that. Uh, 如果沒有的話, key in your question. 好, 啊, 我, 我們很鼓勵看誰第一個要來嘗試啦, 想讲一下你的comment或你的feeling给我们，然后啊，给现在那个David在打正确答案了，各位可以看到屏幕上，那两个就是正确答案，你可以key到一行里面，打逗号就好。You oh, can answer the two lines, one line, and yeah, sure. put the comma and yeah, for the whatever, connection or, yeah, of the. Fine, yep. That's fine. Okay. okay. 那我們待會兒會我們會跟上一次一樣因為我們怕各位一次填很多個所以我們會把它再做那個梳理分析表裡面對吧變成一個然後不會說因為有一個人說他永遠名字因為他比話比較少所以我們會先認定重新re-order一
你必须要登录点进去，它才会进到我们的课程。那我们课程会给各位一张精致的证书哦，不管你是不是高雄市的老师，全部都会有。那要拿精致证书，我们会请我们所有的老师都签名，然后我们设计一张精致的证书给你哦，是哎。然后你要做我们的题目，我们这是我们各位进来，这里面东西现在都很丰富哦，都非常丰富。那各位要做的就是影音，你就去看影片，这是第一个我们课程各位要回答的。那你要看影片，请各位加入 ED p u z z l 因为 ED p u z z l 会知道你看了多久啊。如果你真的很累，你把它放着，时间看完了，可是你有没有看，我们也不知道，你把它播完就过了。然后再来就是我们里面有一个课程作业，这个次序大概有一点颠倒，我在做的时候有点多，就有一个课程作业，课程作业大概就是课程作业就是我们有八周，所有八个作业就是请你念读文章。那个练的文章都是老师的，不过下一周那个老师是用现有的文章，好、哦，那、啊、你就把它念一次啊，不管你念对念错，你就把你的文章贴进来啊，就结束了啊。你如果八周都有做，你阅读的时间差不多，我们就会在本课程结束的时候给你一张精致的证书，这样各位知道了哈、哦。那各位看到左边 FB， 各位知道点进去就进入我们的 FB m e s s e n g e r 随时这个贴信息很方便。然后接下来直播事实上是八次，我都没有去改，因为我事情真的很多。那右边有一个 blogger， 你点进 blogger 会有我们的课文。然后这个这个没有关系，课程云单硬碟这个要我同意以后你才有进来，就是我们整个课程相关档案都在这里。好，你会点进去，因为你看档案的时候是一个一个看，但是这里面你点进去有所有整个课程公布过的档案，统统在这里。那我会找一个时间把它全部打开，因为诶事情比较多了哈。那各位，如果你在分享你资料的时候，我们希望各位尽量来贴文。一个，因为一个网络课程如果要成功，就是大家愿意，大家愿意来玩。好、哦、啊，今天今天来的差不多五十，应该六十，应该五六六十几个应该是有，但没有关系，我们不在乎人多或少，因为有人会回来看的，一定会有人回来看。它的价值来自于来自于，因为我们平常传统的课程你没有办法 review， 那这种课程是有可以 review 的。哦，啊，我们为了就是怕各位都上不来，所以我们我们去跟黄柏林议员争取的平板电脑，每一周会给一个。嗯，那我今天也希望有没有人要跟你，你不要不好意思啦，因为我希望这个能够做出来。如果你愿意用 Line 跟我们那个 Professor 用 ，Anyway you want to do some conversation, you can let me know that you add me in. 你已经把我加入新友了，我就把你加进来哈、哦，试试看嘛哈、哦。如果没有，你就把你的问题贴在这里。好，那有些人说很好玩。对了，我们就是希望不要把课程用得太沉闷了哈，太沉闷。那我再讲一次哦，其实我都知道，要听得懂 David 今天讲的是要一点程度。好，那没有关系，你可以慢慢听，因为如果那个程度是越过你的，你很快就会进步了。好，那没有问题。好，那我们现在各位都进了，哎，我差不多到三点三十五分，好，再来做我们的那个做那个给讲。那剩下 ，do you do you have someone to tell them or tell them that you give them the re your reminding or something? No, just uh, let's see, anything else? I just、uh, I can give you the PowerPoint later, but I, I had some just notes. Oh, he also will give you the PowerPoint. Oh, we will take his PowerPoint and throw it out. We usually ask teachers to give us a PowerPoint. Oh, this because the online course the best benefit is that the teacher has a PowerPoint and you can also get it. Oh, so I usually. 只不过我事情真的很多，昨天忘了去做那个问题。哎、啊，那我如果要做问题，我必须把课程全部都看一次。所以其实我做这件事是有一点忙了啊，你们就提醒我就好了。四元老师说已经回答了。哎，我很高兴这次高雄市，我们现在各位可以鼓励你的同事啊，高雄的同事，但是他没有办法再登记登记那个认证时数，因为那个时间已经过。但是他可以，如果他有做完作业，我们还是会给证书的。我希望各位就有一个。学习历程的的一个资料留着，哦，那这边有些人是学过我们拍散课程的，那你都知道，只要你们我们有完成课程，我们都会给各位，我们都会给各位那个证书，好、哦、啊，那个相对于第一周，我们这两周是蛮有趣的了哈、哦，因为有在做测验嘛哈、哦，然后各位就玩嘛，但是我们希望不要。在这里就是英文程度不好的人觉得上来以后会有挫折感，我们的孩子是怕这样啊，所以希望你们不要挫折感。Okay, one more question here. The website and information are useful for us. 他说他觉得很快乐。However, 
I think I have to use them after the class. Uh, gain a lot. Gain a lot. Oh, 得到很多 Thanks a bunch. Oh, okay. 感谢一连串的、啊，一连串的感谢。哎<笑>、欸，对了，你们各位每一个人可不可以用？我们还有还有几分钟的时间嘛？现在三十分钟，我再给给五分钟，再给各位去填答案哈。到 Google 到 Google Form 里面去填有奖征答，好，各位快点去填 Google Form 这个有奖征答，把它填一填，填答填答答案，然后我们就来抽奖了。好啊，然后等一下我们会有一个通关密语，就是怕各位就断线了，所以要有通关密语。啊，你通过通关密语以后，通过通关密语以后，我们就给奖。那每周都都会播出一个。好，那现在我们再来回到我们的影片部分哈，在这里。好，那给各位可不可以用各位贴一下你的用英文来贴一下你今天的 comments 好不好 ？I give you everybody have five minutes to post your comments and your feelings about study the English。啊，希望都能够给各位更多的鼓励，然后鼓励你们的同事们有勇气上来练习。我告诉你，英文就是这样的 ，bit by bit。然后点点滴滴这样慢慢把英文诶增加上来。各位如果这八次都有听听我们的课，我相信你的英文会进步的很快。好，那还有人，我也哦，我 Professor One and Professor Open similar English online course again in future <笑>。哈哈哈，太好的问题了，太好太好的问题。我告诉各位哦，哈。其实我老师上课的时候都，我在我正式上课都一直提的。我现在比较挂心的就是高雄市的，诶，城市教育我已经做二三十年了，我会继续持续努力，但是一定要资源。我个人要付出心血没有关系，但事情太多了，太多我都必须要个人做，因为没有钱，大部分都是没有钱的哈。那这门课程，我说实话是我自己到教育局是自己推荐的，我觉得这个是比较快，所以各位不要让资源浪费。那黄柏林议员大概有收收到这个声音，他会去募款，再讲一次哦，然后让这个课程在不同的阶层，因为他一直以为学英文大家都可以来学，他还不晓得他这个程度之分。如果我们这边全部是英文老师，其实是一般人是没有办法进来的啦，因为他的课程内容，所以我说我们要把它分程度。那我们可可能还有另外一门课叫英文简单说，这门课程是大家来学英语。所以，我最近跟黄柏林议员经常见面，他会的，哦，他会未来会开给大众化、比较大众化的英文课程，是免费的。那我们只是希望产生一个学习风气，那也希望各位多多支持我们哈、哦。有空你就进来听、哦，或者你今天比较忙，你就回来 review。我们的 review 点阅率很高，那这就是我们的目标嘛，让大家能够接触英文。我在那个谢谢李老师哈，还有林小林老师 ，the interactive course is very interesting. Thanks very much. 我其实都一直在想啊，今天没有叫各位用 line 成功，我一定要找一位出来 line。我看我们再多增加一个平板电脑，只要你愿意跟我们的讲者互动，就多送一个平板电脑。但我要再去争取啊，我要去争取。然后再来 next one。Someone says it's very funny. Thank you very much.、Mm. Thanks again. Then,、uh, excuse me, I have a question. <laughs> How can I watch the live streaming and the live chat through my smartphone? Through smartphone、right? at the same time. 其实可以啊，你就打这个网址。你你们现在你就是你你现在如果是在笔电或者是在桌电上，其实你用手机用 Chrome 进来一模一样。他的答案，他可以做的，但是那个字更小哈，我是没有办法。这个字，你们的字我都要，我现在就是要很细心的去看。好，有问题你随时可以在那个回答我们，我会在那个什么，在 FB 我会回答各位。然后 Amy Zhang 他说 ，OK，Amy、okay, Zhang 已经回答了。然后 JHH Scratch is a useful tool in class three. I can make instant test and get. Feedback in class. Oh, he said he, eh, in class, he can actually use it. Then, that's wonderful time in this afternoon. Yes, I hope you all enjoy. Enjoy. Hope so. That Fang 老师上个礼拜得了我们的一个奖品啊。等一下抽奖，如果到你，你要懂得出来。There is some difficult to me. I don't. I will do my best. Oh, thank you. That no matter. I'm the same. My English level might be a little better than you, but it's 
跟那个呃 Professor Wu 比起来，他是 Native Speaker， 我也不是啊，所以就学就对了啦， can, 不要在乎。Can I say something? Yeah, you want to say something? Okay, so、yeah, somebody asked about、uh, using the, the cell phone to watch this. So I just tried this on my cell phone. If you go to our FB page and you click on the, the YouTube link, it will open up and you can watch it.、Um, but it's only the、um, video. The video, not if, interaction. If you wanna, if you wanna see the chat, you have to open the YouTube app. So you need to have an app, YouTube app for your phone. Then you can watch the video and see the、oh, comments. Oh, that's very good. Oh, 它有一个叫 Live APP. 它有一个叫 Live APP. 没有，就是那个 YouTube app. 是，对啊。Oh, just 同一个就对了。对，就是上面。If you if you click from Facebook、okay. to the link, it will, you have to open it in the app. 可以可以可以看到我们的互动，你就坐在看，他说就在同样的那个 screen 上面，他有一个叫叫叫 What is What is the the name of the at the bottom? The bottom? Yes, the one you click. Uh, 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 okay, so so I I I went to our Facebook group. Oh, to do Facebook. And then. I clicked on the link to YouTube, and it yes, opens、sir. it up in the browser.、Yeah. But if you want to see the comments, you have to open it in the app. Oh, it has an open app, which is that one. I'm talking about. It has an open app. You just go and see. I just opened it. Okay, open app. Okay. Then, okay. What do professors? What do professors have done? Incredible! Oh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh, 请你喝咖啡，谢谢。We have learned so much and great skill. 好吧。然后 ，You to app yes yeah, 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 yes you to app right, right. just do it. 好，那我们要开始来抽奖了哈。三七温，我们不要耽误太多时间。好，要开始了哈。哎，我要怎么做呢？我必须要先走进。各位可以看到我的屏幕，我先把这个收起来。然后，这是开奖时间。三十七分应该来得及，不会耽误各位太多的时间、嗯。希望各位全部都中大奖。然后我要进入我的。Good luck. Yeah, here. Where's the? 要想一想看哦，在树德，在我的 email。email here， 这是那树德 email。我就要进入我树德的 email， 然后进入我 email 以后，我要进入 Google Form， 进入 Google Form。好，这就是 Google 表单。进入 Google 表单以后，我要选择今天的问题。Sorry 哈，我刚才忘掉要开这个，有人提醒我才把它打开。这第一周、第二周、第三周，第三周有讲真的，我看回答了多少？六十三人，不错，你有六十三分之一的机会，<笑>太好了。然后就进来，进来以后我必须把它下载。下载以后下载格式，好，它已经下载这是在这里的，在我的那个下载这里面的。然后我必须把它，就是我还是要这么做了哈。先看看有重复名称的，把它变成一个，应该是不会有，今天应该不会有，因为我们说了。所以，哎，那个平板电脑是蛮不错的平板，哎，我花了很多时间哈，花了太多时间去找出这个平板。那我们的平板是有这次这个计划的经费，我们是由一名国中来协助，所以奖奖品会由一名国中发出。好，啊、还有光华国中会一起的哈，有很多学学校协助我们承办。然后在这里，我必须要把各位的名字在这里把它 copy 下来，从王可欣这是第一个，然后到最后一个，各位大概都已经进来了，今天有六十三个，我把它复制起来 ，Control C。看出是以后，我现在再增加一个画面，然后把它贴到这里来。我先把它贴到这里好了，这里也好了，那贴上来。好，应该是不会有重复，没有关系，我还是做一下哈、哦。嗯。然后，哎，大家有没有重复？我其实我把它重排就可以知道有没有重复了啦，在资料这里面，然后把它重排一次。哎，但是我要重摆以前这边要编号，它等一下才可以，才可以反向做一，然后这个是呃，各位看看呢、哦、哈，这个电脑程度要差不多有一点的才会玩这个游戏。嘿嘿好，那希望这里面
有人得奖，好，一次到六十三个，六十三个的话，我们知道他有没有重复，其实蛮蛮简单的哈，就是把它按一个这个，然后排序一下，然后看看有没有两个名字重叠的，再再重做一次，应该没有了，排序。没有了哦，那我们可能要删掉一颗哈，那我们还是做一次啊，还是有重复的，所以我们要把它重做一次哈，重做一次就回来一下，回来一下，那怎么排做重复呢？这个等一下我来做一下哈，把这个清除，然后从这个地方哈，好，各位就看我玩把戏好了，在这里面 add in 加入加入一栏，好，那这个加栏这个叫 name。这个叫 name n a m e n a m e， 嗯，然后这个地方就 count c o u n t， 就随便打的啦，名称随便你定，这个就 count 一次。那 count 一次以后，把它往下拉，那这每个人都一次，每个人都一次，每个人都一次，就是你报名都有一次。然后它这里有一个功能哈，它这个功能就叫我必须先把我要做。枢纽分析的地方 ，mark up 起来，然后再插入这个地方有个枢纽分析表，枢纽分析表把它点一下，然后这里要点我哪一些东西要做枢纽分析，那它就做好了。那其实我们现在做就是把这个名字抠起来就好了，往上到下，到这个地方， c t r l C 好，再回到我们 new， 再 add in one more， 就到这里来了。就到这里了，我把它贴上去。这个每一个人都只有一次的哈，都只有一次啊。第一个方老师上次有得奖，没关系，你如果抽中奖，请你把那个奖品送给我，我要等着。<笑>好，这是 name 哈，然后这是编号，这是编号，这是一号，这是二号。但是有些人说这样他永远到最后一号，所以我们待会会先来一个 random， 那个会把它重排一次。我可以写一个城市乱数，把它乱数重排一次的哈。好，各位有五十一五十分之一的机会哦，今天机会比较高，几次以来今天最高。然后呢，我先让一次，我等一下让，比如说他让是十五号的话，我们就会把十五号移到一号来，这样知道哈、哦，就是不会让这些，就是先乱一个乱数，知道他哪一个会移到最上面来。好，那现在各位就等我做了哈、哦。首先我们先，这个都还没有开始哦，还没有开始哈、哦，还没有正式开始，我们让各位玩一下而已哈、哦。第一个就是我们要先做乱数，所以我在这里它有一个乱数号码表。那这个乱数号码表，现在我要先给它，我们总共五十个人嘛，所以我这边要写五十，五十。那这个等一下出来的号码不是得奖号码，是要重新乱数的号码，哦，重新五十，它会一到五十。那等一下如果抽到三十八，那三十八会拉到第一号去。好啊，后面的就接回来了，就是他先做一次循环，哦，这样子比较公平，因为他说他永远在最后一面，啊，没有关系，你都可以随时给我意见，我先做假的，这一次不算了，做假的，我等一下要叫 Professor Wu 来帮我们<笑> ，David 来帮我们按一次，哦 ，Just click once to generate a number， 好，这个三九不算了，我要正式产生一个乱数码，要重新排 ，You just click here， here， this one。哒啦，好，那这个乱数是乱数嘛？是要乱数字要重做的哦，哈。等一下抽到的号码三十一号，它会变成一号，三十一号会变成一号啊。我现在重做了，三十一号变成一号。好，那三十一号是从这里喽，它会变成一号，然后就把它复制起来，再来一次哦。三十一号变成一号，哦，这个大其实哈、哦，它无所谓，前头乱数的几率，最后一名跟跟跟第一名其实是无所谓的。好，这个就是这样。然后一号到三十号会接在后面，一号到三十号，这样就那个人不会永远都在后面了。我想你应该知道我的意思了，就是有人建立，他说他这样，他永远在后面。然后这时候我再重新编码，好、哦，这重新编码，这是一号，这是二号。然后一号、一号、二号以后呢，我们现在就等一下乱数，如果乱到这个，其实你不用担心，你在第一号或最后一号，其实它是一样的。哎，对对对，那个乱数，他哎，啊，怎么变成五十九、四十九个？是不是有一个人被被抽掉了？我们再回来看，这里他号码是不是到？我们刚才重做的在这里，重做在这里，然后最上面，看到、哦，我们是从四号开始到五十，啊，没有错了，四号到五十、嗯，那这应该是没有错哈。好。
，那接下来就在这里了哈、哦。呃，我们的号码是在在这里的。各位看到这个是我们等一下要这个前面这个就没了哈、哦，我就把它删掉，免得起争议。这就把它删掉了，因为我们重新 renumber 了。嗯哦 ，remember 大家的号码都在这里啊。等一下乱数到了这个号码，就会抽到你这里的号码。好、哦，我们要开始了，时间是四十五分，我们要快一点，让他晚上跑。好、哦，开始了，抽奖了，在这里，这一次就真实了哈、哦。我们还是请那个 David 帮我们按一下。We need a drum roll. Okay, okay, good luck, everybody. Ta-da! 40, 40, 40 who, is, who is lucky number 40? We'll see. Let's see. Who is that? Hopefully somebody new. Xi Jinglian. Hey, 刚才他好像有贴单。徐老师刚才，徐老师跟我们互动一样。那个哎，哇，静莲老师你中奖了。徐静莲，徐老师，老师是不是？没错嘛，哈，四十号。哦，而且他没有重复了，他没有重复。嗯、那有些人刚好差一号、少一号就没办法了哈、哦。我没有作弊哦哈。事实上应该是这个，<笑>我要点这里，不要去点前面。嗯、好，那今今天得奖就喜庆年，我们后面还有五次，我们送出三个三个得奖了。那我会再写信跟喜庆年老师，哎，确认一下哈。徐、哦、老师，哎，你得奖了哈，得了一个平板电脑。那很多人一刚开始，哎，刚才好像是徐老师问我们说。有没有贴题目？是不是你啊？<笑>好像就是你耶。<笑>所以为什么没有看到题目啊？原来你就你有你有作弊啊！<笑>啊，没关系。哎、欸，我们其实都很公平的了哈。那最后我问老师再讲一些讲一些话来鼓励各位。我们其实最大的目的开这门课程，哦，就是希望各位能够学好，哎、欸，就是利用课后的时间。那这是我们整个课程架构。我希望各位在鼓励你的同事或其他县市的老师也一起来报名。好，现在时间是三点四七分，我们不希望超过三点五十分。我把画面丢给我们的那个 David，、okay. okay. you can come here. You want to say something? Sure.、Uh, I had a good time today. Hopefully,、uh, you guys enjoyed it too and learned something. I just wanted to mention that I did、uh, update the PowerPoint, and I realized that I didn't give you the links to the website. So I'll give Professor Wen the the new PowerPoint. Uh, the PowerPoint and it has the links to the different、uh, websites I talked about, like ESL Video, British Council, TED, Voice of America. So again, play around with them, see what you think.、Um, maybe you'll find something new that you like, and if you don't, that's okay.、Uh, but anyway, uh, uh, no matter if your English is a little lower or, a little, or or really high, that's okay. Hopefully, you can learn something here. And I think、uh, Professor Wen is doing a great job of promoting、uh, technology and English、uh, learning. In, in Gaosheng and Taiwan, and I hopefully you guys continue with this, and hopefully, yeah, there will be new classes opening up,、uh, maybe more focused at specific levels. But、uh, again, just like the video talked about, don't be shy. Just don't don't worry too much about making mistakes. I mean, obviously, you have to pay attention to that. But、uh, the most important thing is communication, and then after you can do that, then try to get. More accurate and, and better that way. So good luck to you all, and、uh, maybe I'll see you around in the future. Thank you. 好了，我们就因为习近平老师在线上，我们就不用通关密语了哈，因为他已经打回来了。他写 Thanks everyone. 好，那我还是鼓励各位了哈。我我们这个资源其实取得不易，哎、欸，各位就尽量宣达给你们学校的老师，还有你的朋友愿意。我刚才有有讲嘛，说昨天嘛，就是一个也是朋友，他有加入这个，因为他也认识我。然后他本来有在巨匠学英语，那他一个月要交两千块，他是买点数的，他已经练习了八个月了。后来因为我们这个课程出来，他觉得那个也差不多了吧？他本来想学两年呐，那想学两年，一个月两千块，一年就两万四，然后两年就是五万块哦。后来他说他已经停了，因为我们这个课程出来以后，他觉得这边有很多工具可以自学，而且他觉得我的模式也不错，所以他说他把那里停停掉了。那我也希望各位不一定那边要停了哈。我们今天课程里面有介绍了一个工具，就是 Socrate， 然后再来就是我们也介绍一个我 club 叫 Toast Master。那我们希望各位就是学英语的脚步不要停。如果我们有更多的老师愿意来学英文，我们下一代他的机会就越来越大。好，感谢各位的参与哦。我每一次这样下完一堂课，我心里就轻松了一点，因为我太多事要做了。哎、hey, ，我不止做这件事，我做了很多很多的事，但。
只要各位喜欢这门课程，我就很高兴了。那各位是不是有空的话，都来我们那个 FB 的网站贴东西哦，那个随时都可以来贴哦。啊，也希望各位给我们一些鼓励啊，给我们一些建议啊，让大家学英语的兴趣可以提高。好，三点五十分就是我们理想中的时间，下线的时间。So I want to say goodbye to everybody. All right, goodbye everybody. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Stay cool. 好，我要把那个关掉了哈，我把今天这个关掉了。